Uh, namaste everyone. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, short video. And uh, today I'm going to speak about uh, about the rising sign lagna, the conditions for its affliction, and uh, you know how to get rid of that affliction. Okay. So all of us have a you know have a rising sign which we are assigned at the time of our birth. We will have twelve rising signs. Okay. But then uh, this lagna is very very important not only for you know not only for judging the various yogas that are present in the horoscope but it is also very important for the fructification of the yogas okay and it is you know it is immensely beneficial if your if your lagna is very very strong okay because then you are in a position to overcome any obstacle that you know that life may throw at you okay but on the contrary if the lagna lord is afflicted in any way by malefics okay if the lagna lord is afflicted by malefics or you know if the lagna lord has you know receives aspects from you know from the functional malefics say from the sixth if the lagna that is receives aspects from the you know from the <clears throat> functional uh, malefics like the sixth lord or the eighth lord or the eleventh lord then the lagna gets afflicted and if the lagna is afflicted then what happens is that the raja yogas that are promised in your chart they don't actually fructify Okay, the Raja Yogas that are there, the Dhana Yogas that are there, which are promised in your chart, they don't actually fructify. And this is, you know, this is a problem because, you know, a chart could uh, show a lot of promise, but if the Lagna is afflicted, then I'm not speaking about the Lagna Lord, I'm just speaking about the Lagna. So if the Lagna is afflicted, what happens is that, you know, you will be, you will be faced with a situation when you'll have a lot of good Yogas in a chart, but none of them are showing effect. Okay, and on the contrary, a strong lagna will ensure that all the bad things that are supposedly there in the horoscope, they can be, you know, they can be overcome by your own effort, by your free will, whatever free will we have been provided in this lifetime. Okay. So what to do if your lagna is afflicted, right? Uh, so this is a very simple remedy that I'm suggesting. Uh, it's a Kali remedy. Okay. It is a Kali remedy. So what you need to do is that every Saturday, you need to go to a Kali temple. Okay. Now don't go to an abandoned, don't go to an abandoned temple. Okay. You, sh you should go to a temple where the worship is done every day. Okay. So Saturday evening, go to a Kali temple and offer uh, three things to, to the goddess. Okay. Number one is a uh, red hibiscus flower. Okay. So it represents her uh, rollicking tongue. The red hibiscus flower is representative of the rollicking tongue of, of Mother Kali. Then you'll offer a coconut, which is representative of your head, right? Because Lagna has represents you know lagna represents your power to discern to discern and power that you have and uh, then you will also offer some water okay so you know these are the three things that you will offer on a saturday evening at a kali temple right a red hibiscus flower a coconut which contains water okay the coconut should not be you know the coconut uh, should not be empty it should not be dry it should have water inside it and finally, uh, some water. Okay, so these are the three things that you must offer to the to the mother goddess, and it needs to be done for, you know, uh, nine uh, continuous Saturdays. Okay, if you are a lady who is doing this, you can you know, then of course put a break for your you know for your monthly menstrual cycle, and then make up the remaining days. Okay, so that's it from me in this video, and uh, kindly like. You know, subscribe to this channel, leave your valuable comments below. I'll be looking forward to your to the next video. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Namaste everyone. Om Guru Namaha.